We are sitting here at the Outlook by Lennar here at uh, Lake Las Vegas. Luxurious homes, Tony Cardasco, Andy Gill. And this is Lake Las Vegas Live. This is Lake Las Vegas Live. Uh, a very fun show lined up for you guys today. Uh, make sure you guys stick around for the entire thing because we're going to be having uh, Eric Dutt from Reflection Bay uh, Golf Operations. Basically, he runs all of Lake Las Vegas Golf Operations with us. Of course, uh, Lake Las Vegas Executive Chef Scott Cummings as well. And also uh, Terry Maurer. Terry Maurer is the director of uh, the Regatta Race that's going to be happening uh, on October 13th here at Lake Las Vegas. And of course, kicking off the show with us right now is the marketing director for Lenar Las Vegas, Ashley Max. Hello. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining me in our beautiful new. Yeah, models. that's the way. Yeah, sorry, that's uh, <laughs> what it should. That we no should problem. let you intro the show next yeah, time we do yeah. it here. Yeah. We know it's Ashley. Homes. She's wearing her name tag. Yeah, yeah. So thanks, we know Ashley. See, that's a good thing. We thanks should have all. We should guys. have all our guests do that from exactly. now on. Yeah, <laughs> It helps a lot. Um, exciting weekend for Lennar, Lake Las Vegas as a whole. Uh, a lot of people walking through these amazing, uh, beautiful homes. Yes. Um, how excited are you guys to be a part of it? We are super excited about the outlook. Um, we've been anticipating opening up these brand new models for a while now. And we um, just couldn't be uh, more excited about how they turned out. We're getting great feedback. We had a big grand opening weekend. Um, and so... Yeah, people are just enjoying them so far. What do you think is the biggest part of it? I mean, if so, I mean, of course, the, the number one is the house, the home. You know, making making it uh, something that people are going to be a part of for a long time. Right. Um, but it's not a bad location. Um, not bad at all. Uh, the outlook is literally it's about the name. It's all about the views. To be quite honest, it's been the floor plans were literally designed around the views here because we have these beautiful golf course home sites and then we have home sites up on the ridge with with amazing views of Lake Las Vegas and of course Reflection Bay. You can literally walk right across the street and enjoy the golf club right there, the grill over there. Um, it's just a, a unique lifestyle um, for the Las Vegas Valley, for sure. Hey, Ashley, what, uh, now you have three model homes that mm -hmm. are available uh, for the public to come and see. Yes. They might walk in as we're speaking to you on the air. <laughs> they might. Uh, but uh, can, <laughs> uh, yeah, also tell us have. about the next gen home. Yes, yeah, so our, our third model, the, the last model over there is our next gen home. And we build next gen homes all over the valley, but we thought it was even more key for Lake Las Vegas because who doesn't wanna come visit you here? If you live in this beautiful location, everybody's gonna wanna come visit you. So we made a private suite, um, comes with washer, dryer, kitchenette, a private entrance. entrance. So if you do have guests, they're going to be staying in basically their own private hotel. And um, especially if they're going to have a long stay here, yeah. um, it's even might, more convenient. That, that might happen from what I hear. Yes, um, <laughs> they might want to stick around. I, I noticed that we were looking at the video of that next gen home there. Um, it's kind of funny because nothing against the washer and dryer that's at the next gen home. But when you look around the corner, there's the other luxurious washer and dryer right around the corner. So. I saw you around the, con the oh, corner. Oh, yeah, no, I'm ready. No, there. I asked I ask Christina, who's running the sales for us here. Yes. Shout out to Christina. We got to give her love because we, we really Christine tried to get her on camera, but it's going to happen. Christine. It's going to happen. <laughs> um, you know, she was mentioning that uh, she wouldn't let me take a nap in the next gen home. No. Yet. So she was like, no, Andy, it's not going to happen. No. We're always no. looking for Andy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, what's the square footage on these homes? They're from 2,300 to 2,600 square feet. So the, um, you know, if you, I, I want to ask you if you had to pick which one. It's, oh it's, my uh, yeah, gosh. I know it's tough, I especially decide. for your job and what you do. It's really hard. You just say all three. Uh, I, yeah, That's all okay. three, really. I do love the next gen, though, because of that it's concept. It's amazing. It is really amazing. Um, of having your guests or even, um, you know, uh, people say mother-in-law suite. But <laughs> it's, really, it, not me. <laughs> it's really built for, um, your mother you know. Your mother-in-law. Yeah, <laughs> it really, really is. Long-term guests or even multi-generational families. It's funny, you know, you had a good point about a lot of people coming out here to visit. That's the one thing yes. about Las Vegas in general. Mm -hmm. um, and the simple fact that Las, Lake Las Vegas also has the amazing Hilton, the amazing Weston, and, and now this option, of course. So um, it, it definitely brings that lot. Was that, is, is there any other places that has this next gen? Did you guys get this from somewhere or is we, this just a Las Vegas kind of uh, you know idea? We've been building next gen since 2013. Okay. Um, and we build them all over the valley. Um, so it's so not seen... a new concept. It's just even more convenient for Lake Las Vegas, especially because of that fact. That's too cool. Yeah. Ashley, what types of people are coming out here to take a look at the model homes or uh, potential home buyers? 
We are seeing all types of families. Uh, we're seeing people that already live in Lake Las Vegas and already know the benefits of living in Las Vegas. They might want to move up or move down. We're seeing people from California who might want to make this their, um, um, they might want to move. Um, they might want an investment home, um, or a second vacation home. So we're seeing all, yeah, oh, we're seeing yeah. all sorts of um, quite a reason to buy a home now. All sorts of buyers, um, but because of this lo unique location, um, I, I I just don't think it gets much better than this view out here. <laughs> Absolutely, but there's a couple other views mm -hmm. now with Lenar. You know, yeah. I mean, it's I, I, it's ironic the timing. I don't know if you guys set this up to make this happen this way, but. Um, Regatta Heights, Regatta Point, yeah. um, which is on the entryway off of Lake Mead Parkway, um, right across from our amazing sports club. Right. Um, you guys are running the show over there now. So what's it like to have not just one, but three communities here? I, it, we just jumped right into Lake Las Vegas, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Just a <laughs> we don't bit. want one. We want three. It's Lenar, it's Lenar <laughs> Lake Las Vegas to an extent. But yes. No, but that's awesome. No, I mean, it was amazing to have that. As you can see, you guys came out, uh, to come bring all your yeah, agents Yeah, we out. took our whole team. We had to show everybody, you know, it's it's the year of Lake Las Vegas. So our whole team is super excited about it's, all three communities. With, with the exposure of not just the Outlook, but, I mean, you guys are being able to really close up some of that, you know, Regatta Heights, Regatta Point uh, yeah. inventory, to say. Right. We still have um, a number of home sites yep. left, but um, they're slightly smaller at the point so if you're looking for something a little smaller slightly larger at the heights with three bay garages so we kind of are covering all of our bases over here <laughs> how many uh, homes will you build here as part of the outlook as part of this development and then uh, what are they priced from they are um, there are 84 home sites at the outlook and they start in the high 500 thousands that's awesome yeah. do you golf um i'm really good at tall Top golf, does that uh -oh. count? Don't tell Eric that. Don't tell Eric that. Eric, do I need to battle somebody? Start. Yeah, it's no, a good start. <laughs> yeah, good job. Okay, hey, I guess that's gonna be. <laughs> you guys can take me out. Yeah, me yeah. Out. Well, well, I think Eric will definitely want to do that too. Right. Uh, after that comment, um, <laughs> that's too funny. Um, when uh, when are the models open? When can people come see uh, this amazing location? They're open Monday through Friday from ten to six. Or sorry, Monday through Sunday, mm -hmm. seven days a week from 10 to 6. All right, Ashley, thank you so much for coming out. Thanks, yeah. Ashley. All right. Thank you, guys. All right, you guys, um, as we switch guests here, make sure you guys check out this fun video of uh, Reflection Bay, also South Shore, and what we call uh, as, your lake, as your Las Vegas golf destination. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you. And Lake Las Vegas has become a golf destination. Joining us now, the head of golf operations here at Lake Las Vegas, Eric Dutt. And Eric, uh, first of all, I think you have something big going on this week here. Well, a little bit. Uh, we've got the Nicholas Cup, which features teams from uh, other Nicholas design golf courses from around the country, and actually from around the world. I think we've got a team from Australia in. So they're playing, uh, they played yesterday, today, and tomorrow here. So we're fortunate to have them. And so far, the guests seem to be enjoying the golf course. I'll tell you what, the golf course has never looked better. It reopened after overseeding in September, and it just looks beautiful. How's it playing? Uh, very well, actually. You're right. It's it's uh, one of the better overseeds that I've had in the 20, 25 years I've been doing this. Uh, so the golf course is spectacular. Uh, weather's starting to cool off a little bit as we head into the fall season. And uh, again, we're very excited about the conditions of the golf course and, uh, you know, the playing conditions right now. I always ask you, you know, uh, sir, how, how many places are there in the world or the country that there's two jacks right next to each other? And well, then we call off that term, two Jack Nicholas's you know, courses, pair of jacks, yeah. yeah. But I mean, like I said, 
somebody can actually play two in one day. You're correct. Uh, not too many places. And what's a little more interesting is that there's actually another couple Jack Nicholas design courses in fairly close proximity to South Shore and Reflection Bay. Uh, we actually work closely with those courses. So realistically, somebody could come into town and play four Jack Nicholas design courses, uh, you know, wow. during their okay. stay here in Southern Nevada. That's really cool. Um, you know, like he said, a couple of the tournaments, the one that's happening right now, um, there's there's quite a few lined up for you, you know, with the what you've done and designed, uh, taking the role the last, what, year and a half? Yeah, and I, and I think, you know, that's, I guess one of the things that uh, we wanted to bring to the table is, you know, the, uh, our team and the team that I brought in is used to doing high profile events. Uh, you know, the, the Wendy's Classic, I used to work with Tiger and his foundation. Um, so we like doing those types of events. Uh, it brings obviously some exposure to Lake Las Vegas and what we're doing up here with, with the real estate options with Lennar and our other partners. And, uh, you know, we think it gets, uh, you know, the golf back on the map, so to speak, or golf at Lake Las Vegas back on the, on the golf map, which it kind of fell off for a little while. Now, you added uh, Craig Barlow, Jeff Gallagher, two big names in this local community. Well, Craig, of course, was a touring pro. I think he played in eight majors. But uh, tell us what their roles will be. Sure. One of our goals up here was to create, you know, kind of that, I call it a golf ecosystem that if, uh, you know, you were looking for a place as a golfer to live, play, work on your golf game, uh, and if you had children, um, you know, where would that be? And so, you know, what we've been able to do up here with what I call the golf assets between South Shore, Reflection Bay, and now what we're doing at the, uh, at the Falls Golf Club, um, you know, with instruction and an academy uh, program, uh, you know, we have something for everybody. So with the addition of Craig Barlow, who grew up in Henderson, uh, you know, played junior golf here. I've known Craig since he was, you know, 17 or 18 years old. <laughs> I didn't know uh, that. Yep. And, uh, he's got stories. That's yeah, awesome. He's got stories. Oh, yeah. He's got stories. Um, he like, don't be mean to me, Craig. I'm going to Eric. <laughs> no, you got it. Um, you know, and then Craig went on to have a very successful career on the PGA Tour, uh, played in eight majors, made 170 career cuts, um, and did very well. Um, you know, he's 46 years old, so he's kind of taken some time off before he tries the senior tour. You know, so Craig's come on board. And what's very interesting is, you know, there's some players are good players. Some people are good instructors. In my opinion, very few are both. And Craig's got seems to have the knack to be a good instructor. Um, you know, does very well with juniors. And what I tell parents who ask me, you know, who should their child work with, uh, you don't get too many opportunities for your kid to work with somebody who played the PGA Tour and learn from the best players in the world. Uh, you know, Jeff Gallagher also played uh, the tour, uh, web.com, won twice uh, on the web.com tour. Great personality. And so, you know, the, from the instruction aspect up here, you know, we have the ability to let golfers of all ages actually learn from, you know, you know both Craig and Jeff who played the PGA Tour and that's that's pretty unique then, uh, you know in the instruction field you know, Tony and myself are on the top of that list right <laughs> Tony for those lessons I hope yeah we got to get out there <laughs> well we're pretty safe so we're in case you joined us late we're yeah. at the Outlook by Lennar, yes we are and we're sitting here and this is a safe hole for whoever <laughs> whomever owns this house because the tea box is right below us no it's right I can hear them teeing off okay all the whole time. A, this it's is amazing safe I love house. that sound yeah this no, is exactly. perfect you're good. you're good yeah they're safe for my golf balls but where where are we sitting right now and how many yeah. of the uh, the holes will this uh, this new development uh, be facing uh, I think you know basically the outlook by Lenari I mean it, it borders number one it'll border you know uh, what's now our 11th hole it'll border some of our 12th hole so you know you've got three or four holes where um, yeah uh, where you know Look at that live residents shot. will be looking you know basically down on our golf course uh, and and as Ashley mentioned from here you can literally walk across the street to Reflection Bay and take advantage of the Bayside Grill or, yep. you know, or tea time. All of them, uh, almost all of them have a view of the course. I think that's going to be, uh, how many, how many courses have you worked with before where, where homes are that close? Not too many. Um, you know, I, you know, obviously in the previous life oversaw Cascada oh, and Rio Seco. Cascada had no homes around it. Seco had some. Um, but what's nice about this is, you know, you've got golf course views, but they're not right on top of the golf course, especially yeah. the ones up on the ridge. Those will be spectacular. Um, to go back to Craig and his lessons, um, we 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 uh, asked him a favor, and he he, he came. Uh, 
He obliged. Um, can you tell us about what's happening um, every weekend in October if they come visit? Sure. Um, you know, people come out, go through the models, and if you're a golfer, you know, register to win a little contest that uh, will draw somebody that will actually get a lesson from Craig, and I'll even throw in a round of golf. You know, so come on out. Uh, as Ashley mentioned, they're open seven days a week from 10 to 6, uh, right across the street from the entrance to Reflection Bay. Uh, spectacular, you know, models, spectacular view. And, amazing. And appeals to everybody. Yeah, we'll, we'll pick a winner November 1st. Like I said, we'll run that through that. So, um, And then we also have the Lake Las Vegas Classic coming up. Yeah, we can't let you go without talking about <laughs> that's that. That's the first weekend so, in November. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's another one of those special events that we brought in with our partners, uh, Ryan Shackle and Rogue Media and Las Vegas Golf and Leisure. It features, you know, about 15, you know, celebrity chefs from in town, including Mr. Cummings, who will be on shortly. Um, great culinary uh, offerings, wine. There's a golf tournament with it. And there's entertainment that night. So it's really kind of that uh, a cultural weekend, so to speak. Uh, and it's a great event. We had about 1,200 people here last year. We expect that to grow a little bit. Uh, and it's a great time. Yeah, it's going to be a fun weekend. That we had our warmest second, September, or, yeah. right, on record. <laughs> So maybe this carries over. It'll be a beautiful weekend in November. Yeah, well, well we, had some, we had some good luck last year in November. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that, that happens again. Knock on some wood somewhere. No. But um, that week, of course, we're going to be doing also our, our NAREB uh, Lake Las Vegas uh, certification to where we're going to bring a bunch of agents out, go to the different communities. Um, so I'm going to be keeping Eric very busy. Hopefully we, we can still get those free lessons by that end of that weekend. We'll so, see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll definitely see. Um, Eric, thank you so much for coming out again, always coming on the show to, you know, just keep us uh, up to speed on what's happening with um, Lake Las Vegas golf. Do you want to touch on South Shore just a little bit? Just kind of, yeah, you know, I mean, the amazing stuff that's going on over there, too. Yeah, I mean, you know, South Shore, uh, you know, had, under new ownership, a bunch of members got together and purchased that club from the previous owner. Uh, brought in a new GM who's got a very, very good pedigree. So they're going through a lot of changes over there, renovating the clubhouse, golf courses getting worked on. Uh, you know, new membership program. So again, you know, if you're a golfer and you're looking for a golf community, I mean, Lake Las Vegas has got everything from the private club experience to Reflection Bay, and obviously our instruction and you know academy programs that you know we're we're underway on. So I um, mean, it's like I said, it's that kind of that golf, a great golf ecosystem up yeah, here at Lake Las Vegas. Amazing. Thanks again, sir, for coming. You got on. it. Thank Thanks, you. guys. Eric, All right, you guys, uh, take a peek at this uh, commercial right now about Seasons Grocery, which we have located inside the village here at Lake Las Vegas. And when we come back, we'll be talking to Chef Scott Cummings. Take a look. My name is Sierra Nagel. I'm general manager of Seasons Grocery. Open Seasons Grocery just over a year ago. Bringing those products in, as well as um, all of your basic essentials, shopping needs, and organic and natural items as well. It's meant a lot to the residents to have a grocery store in their community. Uh, it's been a long time coming. They've been going to Albertsons eight miles down the road. It's great to have a community grocery store that listens to them and responds to them as well. We're open seven to nine every day. I've been here about 10 years. I come and shop here when I want to cook. It's a wonderful thing. It's like a cheers bar, only it's a grocery store. Lake Las Vegas is a, a place where you can feel a sense of community. I lived in several areas around Las Vegas before I came here. And there were nice, beautiful homes, but it wasn't a, a place where you felt like you could walk down the street and say hello to everybody. Lake Las Vegas is that place. And we welcome you back to Lake Las Vegas Live. The celebrity chef himself is here, <laughs> Scott Cummings. He just walked across the street, actually. He actually, actually did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty nice. Good to see you once Good again. Good to see you. Thanks uh, for having me. Yeah, we just saw that spot for Seasons Grocery mm -hmm. and uh, a great little market here at Lake Las Vegas. It's a meeting point, I think, for a lot yeah. of folks uh, that live here. A lot of tourists come through. Good place great to hang spot out. spot for coffee and pastry in the morning. It's fantastic. It's and always now, has been. now, yeah. New Delhi. I, I think saw the, people, all the people, people had probably were wondering what's, yeah. what's going on with yeah. Thanks for bringing right lunch here. Yeah, yeah of course. Are you, you going to start the show. delivering lunch here yeah. to <laughs> all the, yeah. the people that come through? Everything for a fee, guys. Yeah, everything every, for a fee. No it's, a, no, it's fantastic. We, um, you know, we've been busy this year with a lot of projects, but uh, this is one project that we really wanted to get on the for, um, on the forefront um, is to to bring a true deli um, to to Lake Las Vegas and give people an option to go somewhere and get some fresh deli meats and some you know a, a great sandwich and and have that availability with the beautiful market that it is. 
Um, so, you know, with that, um, I searched out and, and brought in, I think, one of the, you know, best, uh, you know, best meat and cheese providers we have, which is Boar's Head Meats, um, which is very familiar. A lot of people are very familiar with. And um, I think Boar's Head does, is, does an incredible job um, for us right now at Seasons Market to, to bring, you know, that kind of product to Lake Las Vegas. I was able to get some video yesterday. So you can kind of describe. Yeah. The new deli oh, sure. Look. Nice yeah, big so, case. Yeah. So yeah, we brought in brought in the deli case. Um, you know, uh, we're doing sandwiches to order, so we'll have some grab and go sandwiches as well as some breakfast sandwiches, um, um, too. But it but it gives you an option to walk up the counter. Uh, we we brought in also a, a great local bake bakery from here in Las Vegas, um, as well. That's supplying some really really great quality breads for us. Um, which you know that's the best part, right? We bread mm-hmm. a sandwich is nothing yeah. without good bread and good yeah. meat, and and so so that's kind of what we did with Mark is bringing a, a really great product for the residents and people from elsewhere that are traveling to Lake Las Vegas. When Sierra just came by, we just saw mm-hmm. her in that spot, but she was saying down the road, maybe some picnic baskets for people to take. To go. Yeah, you know, we, we have a lot, a lot of really, really great ideas that we have this availability now um, to do. So, you know, if you're thinking about, um, you know, in a very short period of time, think about your your party platters and your your deli platters and things that can be, you know, picked up right there at the grocery, ready for your for your for your game day weekend or anything that you need. Yeah. You know, we have a lot of things coming up uh, this fall that everybody needs kind of, you know, those kind of meat and cheese platters for. So that we'll be able yeah. to do that. Mm-hmm. We'll That's be able cool. to do that right out of the market and um, and give everybody here in the residence a, an option, you know, to do. But of course, just run as a regular deli. So come and get your pound of turkey and your pound of ham and you know your good bread and you know take it home and you have you have that option there now too. It's already open. I mean, people mm-hmm. can come on down and grab some sandwiches yeah. and check it out. But I, I know we, you and I have been talking about doing a kind of a big party for it. Yeah. Um, around, ironically, Regatta Weekend and Canine mm-hmm. Weekend. So yeah. um, anything kind of specially lined up that we yeah, can so, kind of give, um, we give really, the audience? You know, kind of, kind of we, we walked into this week. Um, the deli was, you know, officially open kind of this week. Um, we still have uh, some cosmetic things to do, um, you know, kind of work through um, our exercises. But um, yeah, we, we definitely want to do, you know, a really great kickoff um, kick off to Seasons Market, kick off to the grocery store, kick off to bringing in Boar's Head Meats um, with, you know, of course, you know, the regatta is going to be, is always a busy weekend for Lake Las Vegas. So um, I'm also going to be out there that weekend. Uh, we're doing a pig roast um, that day as well, um, as well as having breakfast sandwiches and things like that available right outside the store. Just figured how busy I'm going to keep you again another yeah, weekend. Yeah, I was just having a discussion about, making, about yeah, making that weekend. Making sandwiches, like, yeah. yeah Thank just... you, Scott, for always being <laughs> kind to of me. I appreciate it. For, sorry no for sandwich all... for you today, No, Andy. it's okay. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> we'll save them for that weekend. No, but it's um, going to be great. Before you go, I do want to talk about one of the coolest mm-hmm. things you put together um, is the wine dine, and you let me add the view part to it. Um, but you invite uh, a certain amount of residents open to the public, um, but you pair up an amazing four-course meal with mm-hmm. uh, wine. Tell me, yeah. tell me how you know how you came up with that. The idea so, we've only gone to you know it's but it's. Everybody walks away just amazed. Yeah. So, um, so you know, every month we try to do a um, uh, basically a wine dinner, um, a food and wine pairing dinner, uh, which is really really fun for me because it's I, I'd love to do that. Um, we bring in a really great, we showcase a really great wine um, or a really great um, uh, you know really great winery um, and just kind of celebrate their wines. And then I pair a menu, you know, usually about a f- five course menu um, around those wines and, and each each course to pair those up. And it's it's just a lot of fun. Um, listen, you you come into a room and you sit at a communal table you know the whole my whole thing about dining is really kind of creating community you know and um so to come in there and it's and, true. and and yeah. sit around and sit next to people you don't know and you you might just realize you all live in lake las vegas and you're two doors away from each other but now you know each other you know yeah. so so that's kind of part of it as well of course the great food and wine gets me an op- opportunity to really cook some great stuff and have some fun um outside of our regular you know daily operations um and and just have fun with it and we want everybody to celebrate in that too and to have that community a touch and community involvement so and we went to the last wine dinner mm-hmm. that you had and that was Oren swift wine yeah kind of a trendy wine the best part of that entire night though is you know again conversing with everyone and you know they're just talking and eating and but you also tell stories about yeah. the wine and i thought that that was a nice touch yeah i think you know I, th- I think it's always important too with you know what we're doing you know i want people to understand where i came up with these things and and why i do why i'm doing what i'm doing and why i'm pairing a wine with this and there are really no right answers but i just want people to understand where i'm coming from and also 
for some of these wines and some of these these vineyards out there, there are such great stories yeah. of where they come from and and whether this one was really I kind of told a bunch of stories about the labels because the labels are fantastic with this wine and um, really kind of give people an idea of where these labels came from because they are kind of out of the box kind of you know um, thinking labels for Orrin Swift. So so but every every vineyard that we bring in kind of has a really cool story around it and that's what I try to bring in. So not just great wine, but hopefully we can you know share a story. Um, people can uh, you know I get a lot of times too people will come and they've been there they've been to these vineyards you know so then they tell their stories and then they share their experiences about hey when we went there we really did this and had such a great time it's, and it's amazing to yeah. see the amount of volume towards the end of the the night and how, how, how quiet you know and everyone get in there and get to meet everybody and then they walk out like they're best friends like oh, you're saying course. I think it's hilarious well, dude it's, it's well, the best I, I might have a little something to do with just a little wine, bit with the wine but I just think it still is, works all, all we do is encourage <laughs> yes. that's all we're doing is encouraging yes. a good time no, so it's, it's, it's yeah. awesome so but it's a lot of fun yeah and then chef you also have the Lake Las Vegas classic coming up oh it's gonna and be, tell yeah. us about some of the celebrity chefs man it's 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 great you know well, you're in addition to you yeah yeah well I know um I know we you know everybody from um, there'll be there'll be you know Tau a chef Ryan, there from exactly. Tao Group from STK from um, all all over so there's you know it was it was such a great showing last year um, I'm really really excited to to work again with these guys with the Audi Classic and and really just have a good time it is just a fun fun event you also prepared the menu for the grill mm -hmm. side grill yeah um, uh, it's, uh, it's a minute away. Um, it was kind of funny. We were setting up for the show today, and a gentleman walked in with it looked like his son, and they were walking around. He's like, "Hey, man, I'm getting hungry, looking at these houses." And I said, "You know what? Just go across the street, go down the street, you know." Um, and and the grill and the access for Lennar to have that mm -hmm. is pretty important. Yeah, you know, it's kind yeah, of nice it, having that in your backyard. It's, yeah, right? it's 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 great for this location, but it's you know great for all of Lake Las Vegas to really have because, you know really great dining options, and that's what we wanted to do. And of course, we're on Reflection Bay with the incredible views that we have there. You know, so you know as the weather changes, I know it's still just a little bit too warm, but we have the patio seating out there as well, where you can actually dine on the bay. You know, have your lunch out there, have your glass of wine, just really enjoy and take take in the views and everything that is you know what Reflection Bay is. Yeah, make sure you guys check out LakeLasVegas.com and check out all the fun events that we have. And the majority, if there's any food happening, it's probably Scott's <laughs> food. So uh, you're going to be yeah. very happy with that. Um, Scott, again, thank you for coming always on the show with us no to problem. talk about with what's happening it. next. Okay. Good to see you, Scott. Thank, thank you, guys. you, guys. Check out this B-roll right now that we've got of uh, um, the Rose Regatta, one of the uh, most amazing events that happens here in Lake Las Vegas and brings close to 2,000 plus people out for a day here. And when we come back, we'll be talking to Terry Maurer, who's actually the one that puts all that together. Scott, thank you. Yes. Guys, that was a video from Labor Day weekend. But uh, Terry Maurer joins us now, and we're here to talk about the Rose Regatta, which is coming back to Las Vegas once again. And it'll be one day, and that's a week from Saturday. And we're real excited because, well, there was no more room on land, so there's a lot of room in the water. But welcome back. Thank you, and thanks for having me. No, absolutely. You, you know, have too many land, land activities going on. Yeah, here. no, no, we're trying to get them in the water. There we yeah. go. You know, we showed that Labor Day weekend video really just to kind of um, show you the amount of events that do happen out here that, you know, whether they're just for people that are um, visiting from out of state or locals. And I think your, your I don't think, I know that your um, event is probably the largest that really brings a lot of locals out. We do. Um, actually, the Rose Regatta, I think we bring out, it's up, it's upwards of 3,000 people come out on race day to, uh, to support and participate both. Yeah. And it's a, um, it's the largest dragon boat race that we have in Nevada, in the state of Nevada. And if you don't know what dragon boat racing is, it's a very good thing to Google, give you a good idea of what we're talking about. But it's all about team building and it's a team sport. 
and it's paddling on the lake. Um, we have 20 people to a boat, and we have to synchronize them and get them all paddling and then race them. So, And it's not like they do this like every day of the <laughs> year, week. Like there's some practice that goes into this, and it's there crunch is. time. Like you, you have to get... Uh, I mean, I, I hear people, that, it, there's trash talking. There's like, oh, there's some time. there's some real like, you know, elements of a team that go into this. And it's amazing to get to see, it's really amazing to see people that don't do this every, like I said, every weekend to come practice, but you put them together and they, and they look like they know what they're doing. They do. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. We, um, it's actually, <laughs> this, go left real this quick. particular, uh, this particular race is very much community driven. Yeah. Um, we have teams that come from uh, Steinberg Diagnostics, from um, Ainsworth Technology, uh, United Healthcare uh, here locally. Dignity Health started the program, mm -hmm. uh, St. Rose Hospitals. And so we have a we have a whole contingent of community teams that come out and they'll maybe race one or two or three times before race day to get it going. And then they come out and they want to win those medals and they want to win those joke. trophies. And uh, it's really great team building and very much community driven. Um, we have a few club teams that are practicing year round okay. and those particular clubs. I was going to say, some of those like, teams, I'm like, no, 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 they, they've been, they've been sneaking out here on the lake. So. Some of them do. Yeah. Some of them are definitely our year round club teams and, okay. and they'll travel out. Uh, they'll go to Puerto Rico to race or they'll go to Long Beach or they'll go to, uh, Vancouver. So, but for the most part, the Rose Regatta is about community. Um, and it's, it supports a great cause. Uh, it's a fundraising race program for Dignity Health's Red Rose program, okay. and they supply mammograms, biopsies, mm -hmm. um, things along that so, line yeah. for underinsured and non-insured women in our local area that are 49 and under. So okay. women that don't have the funds to get the health care needs that they need, this raises funds for that program. So it's actually is very important uh, to the whole Las Vegas Valley. That's great. I mean, it's funny because last year, seeing the amount of people that came out and the amount of cars that are parked up and down the street, um, it, it, it's, it's, it, the village is really, you know, you guys do something really cool and, and what it benefits. But like I said, just the amount of teamwork and you see everyone really getting like helping each other and, and, and down there on the docks when I'm down there, I'm like, wow, these, this is amazing what you're doing with just people that are, that they work with each other every day. But you see that different element of teamwork. It, it's that, but it's also, it, there's something that happens when you become part of the Dragon Boat community, because it's not just the teamwork on the team. And there's trash talking between teams, because oh, heard everyone uh, wants gold. Yeah. You know? There's some bets. Yeah. 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 I thought sure. Nevada, Nevada Power was going to, you know, it's, go off on somebody. I was like, hey, guys, come on. It's a fun game. Just kidding. But there, you know, they're like, the weekend come warriors. Out the weekend, yeah. There, 20 people in the we, boat. And we have this year, we have the first year, this is our 10th year. Okay. So, but this is the first year we're going to have a specialty 911 heat. That's what you're saying. So yeah. What is that? Henderson Police Department has put a boat on the water, and Metro Police Department has put on the boat mm -hmm. on the water, and then we triple dog dared um, Los, or excuse me, Los Angeles Police Department. They are mm -hmm. coming from Los Angeles wow. to race. So we're going to have a three police departments on the water racing in a 911 heat. So it's really for fun and and to just to tell them thank you and to, Will they to bring good support. Will they win a trophy they were, they were going to actually do a floating trophy. So they'll get their name on a floating trophy. So it'll come back next year, oh, nice. you know, and hopefully we can get North Las Vegas involved you and we'll get Boulder we'll get City involved happen. as well. Yeah. yeah. That's too cool. I know um, we've been talking over the, on the phone, you know, the last couple of weeks and you know that there's another event coming to that same weekend. that's going to be on the other side yes. of the lake. So, yes. and it's, you know, the law enforcement with the canine trials. Weekend. And that'll be on the North shore side. Yeah. yeah it'll be on the North shore side. Yeah. But it's been uh, it's going to be a lot of fun now that you have that uh, that 911 element to Absolutely. it, and we're going to be doing all that. What's the give the um, I guess audience or people that want to come out and watch probably the best things to do to come watch? Wait, are all the boats filled? All we the have, teams? Uh, yeah. Well, we're, yeah, we're done pulling in new boats. <laughs> we're, we're we're ready to put a festival on. Good at this to point. go. Good to yeah. go. Uh, but we, we have 54 teams coming. Wow. There's 22 people per boat, so you can do the math there. Yeah, and yeah. then we and then have, how many boats do you provide? How many are we, there? It's six boats that run in a that, heat. That run in uh, three boats to a heat, and three we have uh, two sets of those running at all times throughout the day. And open to the public to come out. Watch. Open to the public to come out, so it's free to come on in. Uh, most of the restaurants down in the village, or uh, Scott is doing a big yeah. roasted pig, which is going to be oh, it's so good. But most of the restaurants are donating a percentage back to the fundraiser, to awesome. Red Rose. You can buy a shirt, and some of that proceeds going to go back to the fundraiser. So if you spend some money, we've got a few vendors in there. So there's some Brighton uh, collectibles will be there. Um, um, so 
just spending some dollars, yeah. you're going to, a percentage of that's going to go back to uh, the Red Rose, which is what I'm all about. That's my, you know, that's my passion to, to make sure that our women here are covered. Easiest way to get some more information? Uh, Las Vegas LV Dragon Boat Club dot com. Okay. And it's all day, so it starts at about we'll eight and it goes to about four. Bit, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there you go. But um, you know, thank you so much, Terry, for coming out. Um, I know, I know that we're getting geared up. It's only less than two weeks away. It is, and, and I'm busy, girl. And it's so crunch time, so yeah. I'm gonna let you go. I know you got a lot of stuff to do, but um, thank you so much for coming out. Okay? Thank you, and thanks yeah, for having me. It. Yeah, thank you. Terry, um, Terry, hang out for a little bit. We're gonna wrap up the show. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You know, like we were talking about uh, the 13th. That big I know. weekend. Yeah, it's it's a big one. Um, of course, canine trials is um, something that's happened for 28 years at the Orleans Arena, and it's a uh, it's 50 canine units come out. On a Sunday, they go to the Orleans and they compete against each other. And of course, they've always competed. Um, it's an actually a three-day weekend, so the tri the trials um, falls on the same weekend as Regatta. But the uh, K9 need to stay at the Hilton. But we're also putting on a special 5K and a doggy paddle to where um, you can come out with your dog leashed. Of course, leashed is the key word there. All right, to be able to have this fun, um, come join the 5K. Come join the doggy paddle. And like Tony said, it's on the north side. And the regatta's on the south side, and you're going to be able to enjoy a lot of fun things, and it benefits great things as well. Um, with the canine trials, all the money goes to Friends for LB Canine, and that raises money for the dogs when they retire, and of course, um, puts together special training for um, those first responders that keep uh, keep Las Vegas, Henderson, North Vegas, everybody safe. So uh, it'll be a very charitable kind of weekend. Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, again, for all those events that are going on during the canine weekend, Andy. Uh, you have the 5K run, so that'll start at 8 a.m. Uh huh. And then what? The dog paddle. What yeah. does that entail? The 5K goes from about 8. You know, it's usually about eight. It's about an hour and a half when uh, with a 5K. So eight, eight to about 9:30, 10. Finish lines at Reflection Bay, and then that's where you can come out and hang out and stay with your dog and go in the water, and you can rent a kayak, a paddleboard, um, or bring your own. Um, but all that information is at LakeLasVegas.com/k9. So make sure you come to see ours. Backslash or backslash? Backslash, it's one of those. Is it a it's the usual one. Slash? Yeah, yeah. Canine. Canine. Yes. Um, so like I said, that the 13th is all about Lake Las Vegas and Rose Regatta. And of course, um, on the other side, come uh, bring your dog. Bring your dog to the Regatta. Check it out and come join us too. So well, there's always a lot going on here at Lake Las Vegas. What time? What time? Was you still with us? What time is the Regatta happen? Like, what's it goes from when to when? Uh, about eight to four. So um, okay. people start arriving as early as six thirty in the morning. Oh yeah, no, so, you guys are out here yeah. early. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Is there drinking involved in that too? We do have a uh, beer garden. <laughs> yeah, there. An outdoor beer garden for that. <laughs> there, there you go. Tony's Tony's dragon happy boats. Now. Yeah, and beer. Dra dragon boats, beer, dogs. dogs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Terry. Of course, Ashley Max from Lennar, uh, Eric Dutt the head of golf op operations out here, Scott Cummings, the celebrity chef. Andy? Yep. I think that's going to do it for this show of Lake Las Vegas Live. So thank you guys Come for watching. Come on out watching. here. Check out the outlook. Yeah, remember, lakelasvegas.com. It's the easiest way to get all the information. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Take care.